The molecule PCL2 F3 is found to be nonpolar, which shape shown below would be most suitable to explain the result. So we have uh, five different structures. So which one? Will be the most suitable to explain the molecule is nonpolar. When you take a quick look of the five choices, you realize, oh yeah, there's some of them has long pairs and some of them don't. So therefore, even though five structures are given, we still have to work on the Lewis structure by ourselves. So therefore, first let's find out the total number of valence electrons. There is a one fluorine atom in the molecule. Number of valence electrons is five. Two chlorine. Each chlorine has a seven. Three fluorine. Each fluorine also has seven valence electrons. Then the total, you add them together, that's 40 electrons. So first, let's draw the skeleton structure. And now let's uh, count the number of electrons assigned because we really don't know the peripheral items uh, arrangement yet Okay, to meet the uh, uh, condition here, uh, the molecule B uh, nonpolar. So I just use one of those structures okay, and assign uh, the remaining electrons to the surrounding items, five of them, and to meet the octide rule. And now you see, for each of the peripheral items, there are three long pairs and one bonding pair. Therefore, there should be a total of eight electrons. Eight times one, two, three, four, five, that's a total of 40. So therefore, there should be no lone pairs in the correct structure. So there, therefore, this one is out and this one is out. So the only question is, uh, which one of the first three is the correct answer? Please note, if the peripheral items are all the same, for example, are all chlorines or all fluorines, so this molecule will be nonpolar. That right? So even though the bonds can be polar bonds, but the entire molecule will be unpolar if the surrounding atoms are identical because this is a uh, symmetrical structure. So that's a trigonal by pyramidal. All right, but since the surrounding items are not the same, therefore the symmetry, that approach doesn't have from that perspective. But symmetry is still important. So we can divide this molecule into, let's say, two parts, okay? One is we look at the uh, equatorial positions and Another one is, look at the uh, axial positions. Symmetry is still important in uh, each of the two parts I just mentioned. So look at the first one, choice A. The um, equatorial position, we have three identical flowering items. Even though each bond is polar, but since it's uh, symmetrical, it's just like a trigonal planar. So therefore, it's nonpolar. All of the dipole moments are canceled each other. And then the uh, axial position, so that's linear. And with two identical items, so therefore, the dipole moments formed. So right along this axis, so they are cancelled each other.
That's why actually that make this entire molecule nonpolar. So right now we are pretty confident to say this is the correct answer. But let's uh, finish the remaining two. Okay, so this one, the axial position, that's symmetrical, linear. Okay, no polarity in there. But how about the equatorial positions? You see, the PCL bond and the PF bond, their polarity is not the same. In other words, the dipole moments are not the same. The strength or the magnitude of those dipole moments. So therefore, the dipole moments in those uh, equatorial positions cannot be canceled. So there is a net dipole moment because of the three unidentical peripheral items. So C is even worse because the axial position, even though it's, uh, I mean, it's linear, but you see PCL, PF, that's different bonds with a different dipole moment. And then the X, the equatorial, same thing. They have different bonds on each peripheral. I mean, the peripheral items, they don't have the same electronegativity. So therefore, they, uh, uh, there is a net dipole moment. So definitely, this one's polar out, and this one's polar out. So therefore, A is the correct answer. So if you want to complete this, that should be CL, CL, F, 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 and then of course you can complete the lone pair assignment and the total number of valence electrons assigned, 5 times 8, 40.